the question is uh, how to teach spelling and how well it can be incorporate on incorporated into uh, the language teaching classroom uh, one of the ways of teaching spelling is to expose students as much reading as you can in the classroom and of course outside outside the classroom as well so one of the ways is like called extensive reading which is to make them um, read simplified texts and in this regard as you might remember we have already discussed the concept of graded readers which come in simplified versions which are interesting encouraging and motivating for the students so we can expose them to extensive reading a uh, reading uh, which interests the students which appeals them right um so continuous encouragement and motivation on the part of the teacher is important element to make students notice how spellings work and of course there should be some dedicated classes uh to uh, the uh, like for instance if you are teaching 6th class students or 9th class students you can dedicate some of your lessons to especially sp uh, spelling teaching so another key way of teaching spelling is to identify issues of sound and spelling the irregularity and how it works what what are the rules what are the exceptions so you can bring in those rules and exceptions in the classroom and make the students notice and then you can of course give some exercises of word formation for example you can dictate class in the classroom ask your students to follow you so uh, word formation can be an interesting area to teach spelling um, then we can bring in some spelling patterns and exercises and then uh, we can make the use of digraphs uh, which means a pair of letters which associated with one sound uh, as you can see on this slide then trigraphs you know three usually some of the three letters pronounced uh, together or in the same way as you can notice it on this slide yeah so another way of procedures or strategies you can use in the classroom is to read aloud we can read aloud shorter texts and we can make students listen listen carefully to the words spoken or read aloud in the classroom and we can make them repeat and write and it shouldn't be like a mechanical uh, activity rather we can encourage students to feel what they are doing uh, when they are reading they, they they should have the flavor the the taste of reading and how notice the spelling sound correspondence or the irregularity and then we can make them read and listen to a series of words um and then we can bring in rules of convergence and divergences of sounds and how they work and how they don't work why they work why don't don't they work right uh, another activity uh, by which we can develop spelling uh, or teach spelling in the classroom is uh, we can bring in some group of words uh, like which are pair, pairs or group of words like clap clapping how limp limping so and then we can make the students make the constant use of dictionary when they are using dictionary they are not using for the sake of using rather they are noticing pay attention and making them conscious about the rules that work the spellings right another way is to dictate dictation or reading aloud can be a handy tool in terms of developing spelling and then we can incorporate listening in the classroom like playing um, videos on the youtube or if we have multimedia in the classroom or if we don't have multimedia we can do it on our own we can bring in tapes or uh, other ways of uh, uh, you know 
developing listening skills in the students by listening they will uh, identify what they are listening repeat feel write and this is how uh, there are various although uh, these strategies may vary from teacher to teacher but these are some of the strategies established in the area of english language teaching which can be helpful in teaching um, spellings to the students